stage two locks load is closed out. And vehicles on internal power. Talking on this and start up. Go for launch. T minus 15 seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition. Lift off. Your call is pitching down range. Lift off of Falcon 9, carrying the JCSAT-18 Pacific orbital. 1 satellite to geostationary transfer orbit. Stage 1 is now in full power. Everything looks nominal. We're now, oh, you heard the call out for throttling Falcon down. Falcon 9 is supersonic. We're approaching max Q. This is when the rocket goes through the moment of greatest aerodynamic pressure. Falcon 9 is experiencing maximum aerodynamic pressure. Now the next three events that we have coming up will be in rapid succession. Main engine cutoff, stage separation, and second engine start one. Main engine cutoff, or as you'll hear it called out, Miko, is where all nine engines of Falcon 9 first stage shut chill. down. You just heard the call out for MVAC engine chill. Again, that's when we're um, pre-chilling those turbo pumps on the second stage. Now, the MECO will be followed by stage separation, or the separation of the first and second stages. Finally, second engine start, where we'll light the Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage, and begin, and, and begin to carry the uh, satellite to its targeted orbit. Let's listen in for those. Miko coming up in 20 seconds. So trajectory is looking good. Engine still at full power. On the left hand side of your screen. Miko. Stage so stage. There we go. So there on your screen as the second engine, excuse me, as the second stage engine begins to glow a bright orange, uh, we have confirmation First there and second of stage are on both a stages of the stage separation and second engine start one. 
So on the left-hand side of your screen uh, that you'll see stage one as it begins its descent to uh, the drone ship, Of Course I Still Love You. You can actually see the lights of Cape Canaveral there in the background. And then on the right-hand side of your screen, like I said, is the second stage. So we're coming up to fairing deployment. We jettison the fairing to shed any unnecessary weight from the second stage. Fairing separation is confirmed. So as you see there, fairing has separated. Again, we are attempting to catch those uh, on our recovery vessels. Uh, but we now have confirmation that uh, second stage is uh, performing nominally. Um, and we are looking good so far for today's mission. Acquisition of signal Bermuda. Now, at this point in the mission, the first stage is currently on a parabolic trajectory from the launch site going towards Of Course I Still Love You, which again is about 350 nautical miles off the Florida coast. To successfully land, the first stage will need to do a few things. First, it'll need to reorient so its engines and heat shield enter the Earth's atmosphere first. Then it'll reignite three of its Merlin engines for entry burn to reduce the aerodynamic forces and heating experience as it transitions back into the thicker parts of the Earth's atmosphere. Once it's in the atmosphere, the grid fins will take over, guiding the rocket towards, of course, I still love you. When we're above the drone ship, a little after T plus eight minutes into flight, the center Merlin engine will ignite for landing burn, followed by landing leg deploy, and hopefully a gentle touchdown on, of course, I still love you. Entry burn is scheduled to begin in about a minute from now, and it'll last about 20 seconds. First and second stage continue to follow a nominal trajectory. And we're seeing some, some slight plumes on the left. That's the shot from the first stage. We're obviously in the Earth's shadow right now. And on your right side is the second stage MVAC engine continuing its burn. Just about 20 seconds away from entry burn begin. Stage one FTS has saved. Stage one, entry burn startup. And there's relight of those three Merlin vacuum engines. Now, fun fact, JCSAT-14 was actually the first time SpaceX successfully landed a geosynchronous transfer mission on a drone ship. Since then, we've made 43 successful landings between drone ships and on land. Stage one, entry burn shutdown. And we're hoping to make tonight's attempt our 47th successful first stage recovery. So if you're just joining us, the first stage just concluded its entry burn. It's on its way back to, of course, I still love you. The second stage is continuing its uh, first engine burn towards a parking orbit. And that's taking the JCSAT-18 Pacific-1 satellite up into orbit around the Earth to prepare for a second burn happening shortly after. Now landing burn on the first stage and secondary engine cutoff number one will happen about the same time. Both of those are scheduled for about T plus eight minutes. Stage one, entry transonic. Second stage has entered terminal guidance. At this point in the mission, the grid fins are guiding the first stage towards, of course, I still love you. We'll hopefully get a, a video feed back here for the first stage shortly. Stage one, landing burn startup. 
Stage two FTS is saved. Seco one. Stage one, landing leg deploy. Now, a bunch of things happened there. Secondary engine cut off, number one just happened. The spacecraft yeah, is in a good parking orbit. And Booster 1056 has just recovered it for the third time. This is our 47th successful landing. Congratulations to the whole team here. Now, with that, the second stage is currently in orbit and will continue coasting for about 20 minutes until the phasing is correct for secondary engine start number two. We're going to pause live coverage for now, but we'll be back at about T plus 27 minutes for MVAC engine relight. Engine chill has begun on the Merlin vacuum engine, and in, um, in about 30 seconds, we'll see the second relight of MVAC. And there on your screen, we can see MVAC as it has reignited. Uh, a little difficulty maintaining the video stream there. It's a little hard uh, to get video from space, as you might imagine. Uh, but we'll bring that back to you uh, as we can provide it. So we're waiting to hear the confirmation of good orbit. Sorry, I misspoke. We are waiting for a second engine cutoff followed by good orbit. Fun fact, stage two is uh, approaching the coast of Africa right now. So it made quite some distance in the little bit of time that we were coasting. Zico. And second engine cutoff as we lose the cheesy orange glow of MVAC there. So we're waiting on that confirmation of Nominal good orbit. Nominal orbit insertion for payload deploy. And we have confirmation of good orbit. So now that that's the case, we will be coasting for the next five minutes or so. So we'll be back just before. Welcome back once again to our webcast for JCSAT 18 Pacific 1. Second stage is currently over Africa, and in about 20 seconds, or yeah, 20 seconds, 20, 15 seconds, we'll have payload deployment. There on your screen, you okay, see the deployment of JCSAT-18 Pacific-1. I always love watching as the satellite floats away from second stage out into space. Again, this was geostationary transfer orbit. So with that confirmation of deployment, we will bring our webcast to a close. Thanks for tuning in uh, for our liftoff from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, followed by a successful stage one drone ship landing, and as you just saw, successful satellite deployment. Thank you to our customer, Sky Perfect JSAT, and to Pacific for entrusting us with today's mission. We also want to give a big thanks to the Air Force's 45th Space Wing for providing range safety and to the Federal Aviation Administration for licensing today's launch. Marcus. Now, of course, we also want to thank all of you, our viewers, for tuning in to today's launch. Please follow our website and social media platforms for updates on our next missions. And